Hey, welcome back to another Motion Gladiator tutorial and in this episode I'm going to show you how to do the so-called illustration for motion for the rigging and animation using joysticks and sliders. This is my camera rig and animation, my triple shot, you can find the link in the description. Well, in this tutorial we will design this camera and separate the artwork layers to rig in After Effects using joysticks and sliders. Well, the rigging and animation will be on another tutorial which will be publishing within few days for sure. So stay tuned and let's jump right in. So here I am in Adobe Illustrator and I have my color palette over here. So let's create our camera. I'm gonna grab my rectangle tool and we'll draw one like this. Well our main goal here is to learn how to separate the artwork layers in Adobe Illustrator and do the rigging in After Effects using joysticks and sliders. So let's keep it as simple as possible. I'm gonna round my corners like this. I think this will be enough. I think a little bit wider. Okay, then I'm gonna grab another rectangle and draw one like this. Then I'm gonna select both of them, make the bigger one the subject and we'll make a horizontal align center. Then again I'm gonna select both of them, go to the pathfinder panel and we'll do a unite operation. Then I'm gonna select the topmost anchor points then we'll round them off like this. Then I'm gonna grab my ellipse tool and we'll come to the center and we'll draw one like this. A perfect circle like this. Okay, let's see how it looks. I think it looks good. Then I'm gonna make a copy of it and we'll paste it in place. Then I'm gonna scale it down like this. Then I'm gonna put colors to my artwork I'm gonna select my camera base, then switch to the eyedropper tool and we'll sample this one. Then the lens base and we'll sample this dark color. Then our actual lens. Then I'm gonna sample this color. Now it's time to give dimension to our artwork. Let's do it with the stroke. I'm gonna select all, go to the stroke panel and we'll click on the weight and we'll scroll up to a decent amount. I think 6 will be enough in my case. Then I'm gonna hit enter. Yeah, I think it looks better. Now the fun part begins the layer separation for the animation. First, I'm gonna go to the layers panel and we'll get 4 new layers. Then I'm gonna go rename them. I'm gonna go from bottom to top. The bottom one as base shadow. Then this one as the base. This one as the lens base. Then this one has lens. Let's place our artwork from top to bottom. First I'm gonna grab my lens and the outer circle as well. Then I will come over here and we'll drag this icon to the top layer like this. Then I will come over here, select the outer circle, make a copy and paste in place. You will see no difference but there's a copy sitting on top of the original one. Let me do an undo. Then I will come to the layers panel and will drag this icon to the layer below. Then I will select my camera base and move it to the base layer like this. Then I'm gonna make a copy of it, paste in place. Then I'm gonna drag it right like this, then send it to back and we'll go to the fill color, double click it and we'll highlight the brightness and scroll down to a decent amount. I'm looking at this color. I think this will be enough. I'm gonna hit OK. This layer will give the depth to the camera base. Then I'm gonna select it, drag it to the original place like this. Then I'm gonna come over here and drag this icon to the base shadow. Ok great. I'm gonna unlock the colors layer, select both of these, drag it to remove like this. Ok great. Now our illustration for motion is done. I'm gonna save it, Control S. And our next part will be rigging an animation using joysticks and sliders in After Effects. I hope that you found value in my tutorial and please feel free to join my Facebook page and Instagram account. I will see you soon with the rigging and animation part of the tutorial. Have a nice day. Goodbye.